it is a great pleasure for me to introduce the chairman who is very well known in india and abroad in the field of uav and some people were telling somebody was telling me yesterday oh that uav man so he is popularly known as uav man in india as well as in outside an electronic graduate from madras university and computer post graduate from iit bombay sri natarajan is the man behind the success of all the unmanned aerial vehicle pro programs in india and has more than 3 decades of experience in the development of ground control stations development and flight testing of airborne systems for uavs he was the coordinator for all the uav testings in india remote places in india and for the first ever successful flight demonstration of aerial target system laksha in israel fellow of institution of electronics and telecommunication sri natarajan has received drdo performance excellence award in year 2000 for successful development of pilotless target aircraft and in 2004 for development of tactical uav system apart from several other drdo awards currently he is heading all the indian uav projects including laksha nishant rustam and fixed wing micro uav programs sri natarajan has several publications in national and international journals and he is organizing secretary of so many conferences in india on uav and other projects so may i request you sir to take over the session thank you sir thank you mr for the introduction uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen we are having a session on uav uh, like all other topics relating to uav we have very interesting uh, eight topics today two talks on uav programs one talk on a payload for uav and finally a talk on certification issues i think uh, this is one of the most critical subjects which is uh, being addressed by uav people how to certify an aircraft to fly into um, civilian airspace so we have very interesting pair uh, this session is about 2 hours divided into four talks so i would request uh, the speakers to restrict their presentation to 25 minutes al allowing 5 minutes for interaction Uh, the first speaker is Dr. Lim, the Vice President of uh, Korean Aerospace Research Institute. Uh, he is a, a, a graduate, postgraduate from Korean uh, Seoul National University, Korea, and uh, obtained his PhD from the University of Toulouse in France. He, he has joined uh, CAE Research Lab. Uh, in 1986 to 1994 and from 1994 to present time he is with uh, Korean Aerospace Research Institute and presently he is the vice president of the institute he has uh, a checkered career and uh, presently he has been a member of a number of uh, academic and uh, institute organizations he is a member of aviation and railway accident investigation board ministry of construction transportation vice president of korea uvs association president of korean society for Aer aeronautical and space science and president of korean society of aeronautical science and flight operations he is going to talk to us about uh, the korean aerospace research institute program working on the tilt rotor uav it is something special uh, trying to integrate the best of a fixed wing aircraft and a rotary wing aircraft along with the problems associated with them it is going to be a very interesting talk talk i will look forward to dr lim please good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, i am very honorable uh, heading uh, this presentation in the uh, aero india 2011 
Symposium. Uh, <coughs> I present to you uh, the introduction of uh, our institute, CARI, and smart unmanned aircraft system, and also design and integration and test and evaluation of this program. Korea's Korea Aerospace Research Institute is an, uh, has the role of uh, research on the uh, aircraft and satellite and rocket systems. As an uh, national uh, civil uh, institute. Kari was established in 1989. The Korean government is supporting the aerospace industry as a new growth engine for the 21st century through careful selection and concentration of its resources. Kari has recorded unprecedented fast growth in the aerospace sector, bolstered by such support of the government. Kari is developing state-of-the-art aircraft in accordance with the basic development plan for the aeronautics industry. Kari has completed the development of dual-use parts through the Korean helicopter program and is now developing a smart unmanned aerial vehicle, which will be the second UAV in the world to incorporate tilt rotor technology. Kari is also planning to acquire the technology necessary to develop small-sized passenger planes and helicopters by 2015 as well as continue to form a national aerospace quality certification system. CARI is implementing space development programs in accordance with the basic plan for promoting space development. CARI is currently operating the COMSAT-2, equipped with one meter resolution optical camera, succeeding the previous COMSAT-1. The COMSAT-2 is providing high quality satellite image services to the world satellite imagery market. Also a geostationary satellite that can provide communication, oceanography and meteorological services, COMS, is being operated by CARI. Presently, CARI is developing COMSAT-5, equipped with a synthetic aperture radar, COMSAT-3, which has a 70 centimeter resolution optical camera, and COMSAT 3A, equipped with an infrared radar, as follow on missions to COMSAT 2. Korea's satellites are continuously monitoring the Earth's environment and playing a pivotal role in supporting global disaster relief activities. CARI is developing a space launch vehicle following its development of scientific sounding rockets. CARI has a satellite launch site called the Naro Space Center, located in Gohong County of Jeonnam Province. The Korea Space Launch Vehicle 1, KSLV-1, or Naro, was launched from the Naro Space Center. Based on the technology of KSLV-1, CARI is independently developing KSLV-2, which will be used for the future lunar exploration missions. CARI sent the nation's first ever astronaut into space to carry out scientific experiments on the International Space Station, ISS, and still continues to conduct international collaborative research on the ISS. In addition, CARI is developing satellite-based navigation systems, as well as technology necessary for GNSS application services. Korea successfully hosted the 60th International Astronautical Congress under the theme Space for Sustainable Peace and Progress. CARI will develop aerospace technology through cooperation with other aerospace organizations throughout the world and contribute to resolving global issues. Aerospace technology is vital for the progress and future of all humankind. The Blue Planet, new sky and universe. For a peaceful and prosperous life for all humankind.
But uh, unfortunately, the rocket launch test was failed two times last year. Uh, one of the uh, upcoming needs of and plans of uh, manned aircraft would be a high-speed rotorcraft, uh, like uh, uh, tilt rotor types and the canada rotorings and slow load component and coaxial compound of uh, the costing. And the, uh, one of the upcoming needs and trends of unmanned uh, aircraft system uh, would be a uh, vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aircraft systems, uh, like a helicopter in tilt rotor, the CLW, tail seater, the docked train, and tilt body, etc. There are many kinds of um, um, virtual uh, unmanned air aircraft systems. This uh, smart unmanned aerial vehicle program was uh, initiated and sponsored by the uh, Korean government uh, since uh, 2002 uh, to develop an innovative high-speed virtual aircraft with uh, uh, smart technologies. This figure shows a uh, comparison. of UAS with respect to uh, maximum speed and uh, endurance. It's global hope, as you know, uh, as in uh, 48 hours endurance with uh, 650 kilometer per hour uh, speed. The smart wave is located in this point, about five hours endurance and uh, Maximum 500 km per hour. The motivation and purpose of this program uh, was the need for the high speed virtual uh, unmanned aircraft systems and the uh, necessity of uh, highly reliable uh, UAV systems. This is, this is the uh, Tilt rotor type uh, smart wave system uh, aircraft. It takes up takes up uh, like helicopter vertically, and, and it still tilts the rotor systems uh, forward. And this flight uh, like uh, airplane, and tilting back and landing. There are many uh, potential uh, application of uh, unmanned aerial vehicle system in public and civil and military domain. The key elements for wide range mission uh, was defined uh, as below. The mission range should be over uh, 200 km. The cruise altitude is over 4 km. The cruise speed is over 400 km per hour. And the endurance should be uh, over 5 hours. So it takes up like this and go to uh, 200 km and it's uh, doing a cruise petrol or, or loitering like this and come back. Uh, the con vehicle uh, concept trail study was done by Curry and uh, Georgia Tech of the United States. There were three candidates. Uh, this uh, tilt rotor type of stop rotor and compound gyroscopter. gyrocopter. So among these, uh, tilt rotor was selected for platform uh, from, from trail study. Uh, in the criteria, in the condition of uh, and this criteria, uh, speed and uh, endurance of platform and technology readiness and program risk. So we design and integrate um, these systems in the uh, aerodynamics 
Roto design uh, is optimized using a CFD analysis, like this uh, panel method, and Euler as code, etc. And many uh, kinds of um, internal tests, like an unpowered and powered step test, like this, and the dynamic rotary test was performed in our facility. And also airframe structure was designed based on the main aircraft rules, uh, like on uh, FAL 23. So static and dynamic uh, finite ele element method analysis was done by Nestran, like this. And static and dynamic test was done by uh, uh, an, an institute. There are two systems in powertrain uh, systems, drive systems and rotor systems. So drive systems has an, uh, a composite shaft. So 99% nine, nine, efficiency uh, super finish uh, gear systems was uh, adopted. In, in rotor systems, uh, there are mm, eight Three made Jimbal's hub systems was used, and also low force, high reliability uh, swivel joint was used. For this uh, analysis and design, uh, we used the Canada 2 and Dymo 2 uh, uh, software was uh, utilized. So Canada 2 was used for load analysis and isolate rotor stability condition. And Dymo 2 was used for system uh, stability analysis. For the control systems, uh, the fully autonomous flight control, including uh, takeoff and landing, was uh, designed and realized with uh, dual redundancy and fault detection and collision avoidance system. This, this, uh, this shows the, in the uh, uh, tilting corridor with respect to uh, aircraft speed and uh, tilting angle. So if you tilt 70 degree, the speed of aircraft should be in uh, 70 to 90 kilometer per hour. This is a uh, theoretical um, boundary and uh, this uh, red circle is on this theoretical data. A lot of smart technology was defined in uh, collision avoidance. So there is a sensor and avoid based on uh, ADSB system. So we have a uh, ground control station like this. And this is an ADSB antenna and uh, GPS antenna like this. So ground monitoring mm, systems. This is an onboard trans transceiver system. So automatic collision avoidance uh, verification uh, through a field simulation crossing a UAE chart to uh, this, this way and another vehicle to approach like this. In this case, the opposite case, the opposite crossing case, um, all this case was uh, analyze, analyzed by a uh, field system. And also communication uh, system has, uh, was designed to have a uh, minimum 95% uh, reliability in 200 kilometers with double up and down uh, links. So this is a uh, platform mm, system, aircraft from ground control system. So this is an operation in our beam patterns. Uh, 
will be situated in, uh, in, different, this, in, in this space. And also, uh, uh, on the ground control system, uh, there are uh, some electrode control system and data, in, data link uh, control systems, flight information display and management systems, etc. I'll explain uh, on first time evaluation of this program. We built an iron board using a building block or test approach like this. We build an engine and after uh, uh, center gear duct and drive, drive line and, uh, and uh, higher on conversion in system like this. So this test, uh, from this test, we, we evaluate uh, the system's powertrain and powertrain system, and uh, we could simulate full uh, computation of this uh, un unmanned vehicle, uh, aerial vehicle. And also ion board control and monitoring system uh, was, we, we used the ground control system of uh, SEAV using uh, automatic speed governor. So we obtained data from over uh, 100 sensors. And, uh, many uh, useful data we obtained. This is this system I am is testing video. We also developed a small scale flight uh, demonstrator, 40% uh, scale in, 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 in length. So with this uh, small system, uh, we could evaluate uh, built rotor flight concept and fully autonomous flight control system. And this is in his simulation. And this is a paradox, pedal uh, flight and uh, auto landing and auto transition to airplane mode. And, uh, this is a uh, ground control system. This uh, shows uh, the flight testing of uh, small scale uh, unmanned aerial vehicle performed in uh, 2008, in the year of 2008. Okay, auto pickup. Uh, ready for transition of rotor system. This is a uh, ground control uh, station. And now uh, it is cruise in the system mode.
Отговорим об орендом спад. And we had also an uh, EMI and temperature vibration test, environmental test. This is an uh, EMI test at Paris Security. And uh, we performed also his test by uh, internal pilot to simulate real flight condition uh, at ground stage. So nowadays, uh, the test and evaluation of a full scale system has been doing. First of all, a uh, four degree of freedom ground test was done to gather dynamic characteristic data of this system. And also a tethering test was done to obtain, to test the rotary flight test with safety wire from a uh, tower crane like this. About 20 meter of frame uh, tower. Five more minutes. Five minutes. Okay. okay. I summarized this uh, presentation. The high speed VTOL unmanned aerial vehicle uh, system was uh, has been under development in Kari and. Uh, about uh, 20 uh, Korean industries and uh, many uh, universities. A various methods of design, uh, analysis, and validation test was applied. And also several uh, creative ground tests were uniquely designed and applied to the system. And also various uh, smart, smart technologies were applied to uh, this system, like a fully autonomous flight capability and automatic mission uh, reconfiguration, and also sea and avoid collision uh, avoidance um, systems. The flight test was done uh, for the small uh, scale UAV. Uh, successfully achieved uh, uh, with uh, in uh, 2008, and also the flight test of a full scale uh, system is now uh, activating in the Kari Flight Test Center. And uh, the Korean Navy uh, is very interested in, in this pro in, in this program, so we are discussing with them. Utilizing in, in, in the sea, and also uh, uh, Sikorsky and uh, Augusta are also uh, interested in, in, in this program. So we are discussing with them for on uh, cooperation, international cooperation uh, working. And 
the system of Greater Center in, located in the uh, southern part of uh, Korean Peninsula. Thank you for your attention. A couple of questions. First of all, our congrats for uh, successful development. This product very nice, impressive. I just want one clarification from you. The structural design of your platform, you still follow the conventional structure of safety 1.5 or you have come down to some lower number? The structural margin structural design, you are still using a factor of safety 1.5 or you have you come down? Yeah, 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 1.5, yeah. 1.5. Yeah. What is the reason behind still maintaining at 1.5? You are not thinking of coming down from 1.5 to 1.4, 1.3? Globally, everybody is now coming down. I see the un you know the digital flight control system you have come down to two channel system for an unmanned vehicle. Structural design still remains very conventional. Why? Why why? Why? Yeah. The rotary uh, test only. This is a rotary flight test. I think uh, the uh, sir, we request you to discuss with him in uh, okay. the team. Uh, I would like to thank. Uh, oh, okay. But anyway, this uh, program is not uh, completed. It's now uh, uh -huh. uh, performing nowadays, so uh, it's not. Uh, uh. You showed a very yeah. beautiful uh, video of the flight testing of the 40 percent scale of the uh, tilt road model. Uh, what is the full scale? I didn't get the dimensions from any of your slides. Full dimensions of the uh, the, the, the vehicle, the UAV. Yeah, it's a full it's scale. The length is a five meter span. Uh, Span uh, 5.5 meters. 5.5 meters. The weight uh, is about uh, one ton. One? One ton. One ton. One ton. One thousand oh, okay. kilogram, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we had, I think, time is up. We can discuss with him separately, okay? Uh, the we had an excellent presentation from Dr. Lim about a unique uh, UAV development program of a tilt rotor UAV with associated uh, technologies like uh, auto takeoff and landing, transition from vertical takeoff to uh, fixed wing mode. These are all special technologies. Not many people have succeeded. I think uh, we should uh, congratulate Carrie and Dr. Lim for their excellent work done and for the excellent presentation. Thank you, Dr. Lim.